Hello and welcome to an Avado Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila, and in today's video, you'll learn about breadcrumbs in WordPress, what they are and how you can use them. So let's begin. All right, now, first of all, what are breadcrumbs in general, not necessarily in WordPress? Well, a breadcrumb, or we can also call it a breadcrumb trail, is a type of uh, secondary navigation that shows the user's location in a website, a web application, whatever. And if you're wondering where the name came from, well, if you're familiar with um, the tale of Hansel and Gretel, then I think you can understand the meaning behind it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Hansel and Gretel were basically two children that uh, were uh, dropping breadcrumbs to create a trail back to their home so they wouldn't get lost. Now, in a real-world application, a breadcrumb basically offers a trail back to the original starting point. So to give you an example, here on Tuts Plus, we have this very simple breadcrumb navigation. This post falls under the JavaScript category, and that JavaScript category is part of the web design category. So this offers a quick and easy way to go back to the parent category of this post or the parent category of this, this post and its parent. Another example, if we go to eBay and we open a product, let's say this one, for example. Now, at the top here, we can see the breadcrumbs for this product. So uh, to navigate here, we would need to first go to this category or this page, then this, 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 right? So this is a prime example of um, where it's good to use a breadcrumb system usually in websites that have large amounts of content, uh, content which is organized in um, a proper hierarchy. If we go to amazon.com, same thing, we open up the, I don't know, this product, and we click on this product, or maybe this one. There we go. So now here we can see that breadcrumb navigation. So this product is situated under these categories. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense and you can understand where the purpose of this type of uh, navigation. Now in terms of best practices, uh, you should use a breadcrumb navigation for large websites or websites that have pages arranged in a nice hierarchy. For example, e-commerce websites like Amazon, eBay, and so on. Uh, you shouldn't use breadcrumbs for like very simple websites that have no logical grouping of products or pages. Now, when it comes to WordPress, breadcrumbs are exactly the same thing. I mean, there, there's nothing special about breadcrumbs in WordPress than breadcrumbs in uh, other content management systems. They all do the same thing. So how do you create this type of navigation in WordPress? Well, the thing is, by default, WordPress does not have a breadcrumb system, but you can create one using plugins. So right here, I have a simple installation of WordPress, and I'm going to go to Plugins and Add New. And there are lots of plugins we can, uh, we can use for this. If we type breadcrumbs, uh, we'll find a couple. Nav XT is one of the uh, more popular ones. Uh, then you also have WooCommerce breadcrumbs. So if you do have the WooCommerce plugin installed and you want to add this type of navigation to your uh, shop pages, then you can go ahead and grab this one. Uh, Flexi breadcrumb is also one that I've heard about, but probably the most popular one is Yoast SEO. Now, this is not specifically for breadcrumbs, but it does have the option to add breadcrumbs. So this is the one that uh, I'm going to demo here today. So let's go ahead and install it. And once it's installed, let's hit activate. Now, this is a great plugin for SEO in general. 
but today we're only going to be using it for breadcrumbs. So here's how you get started. Uh, you open up the SEO menu group here and you click on search appearance. Then you would go to breadcrumbs and you would enable it. Here you have several options. You can specify the separator between breadcrumbs. What title should you place should you use for the home page or what text should you use for the home page link? Uh, you can add a prefix for the path, a prefix for the archive, and so on. Now let's go ahead and insert this in our theme so you can see how it works. This is really easy to do. Just follow this article and click how do I implement the Yoast SEO breadcrumbs. All you have to do is copy this code and then you go back to your WordPress backend under appearance, theme editor. And let's actually close these tabs. And then you need to decide where you want to put the breadcrumbs. You can put them in like the blog index or the blog single page, or you can put them in the header so they're available in all pages of the website. So let's put them in the header. Let's open header.php. And then we're going to scroll all the way down. And here I'm going to paste that code. Uh, this depends from theme to theme. For example, in 2020, the, the end of my header PHP has an open PHP tag here. So this is not required. You need to delete that. But in other themes, the PHP tag is closed. So opening it again would make sense. Again, this depends from theme to theme. So once that's done, let's hit update file and let's open up the, uh, the front end. And we should see something right here. Let's see, did we forget something? So a function exists. Let's see, maybe we forgot to check something here in the, oh, I, I think we forgot to actually save the changes. Okay, so save changes. And now let's do a refresh. And there we go. We have breadcrumbs. It starts with the home link and then my current position. If I open up a category, for example, it's going to go to home. This is probably the parent category of code and then the current page. If I open up sample page, it goes home, sample page. And it really depends on your structure, the structure of your pages, your posts. Uh, it's going to display fewer or more items depending on uh, your location here. So now, what about those options I uh, told you about? Well, this, uh, this separator, you can go something like this, save changes, and you'll see that. Now, the new separator is being used, and you can go ahead and alter uh, the other options as well. This is a, a really uh, simple to use plugin. Now, there's also another way you can use the plugin, and that is via shortcode. So if we go back to the uh, Yoast documentation here, if you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll find out that you can copy this plugin, WPSEO underscore breadcrumb, and then you can um, go into one of your pages or one of your posts. Let's say I'm going to open up Hello World here, okay? And I'm going to paste in that, uh, that short code. I'm going to hit update. And now if I refresh this, you'll see that the breadcrumbs are now shown in the body of my actual post. So you can use the uh, short code to display that breadcrumb navigation anywhere in your WordPress website, which is pretty cool. Now, how do you customize this? How do you customize the appearance? It's 
simply a matter of getting to know what kind of um, HTML or markup it's using, and then you would write some custom CSS. So if we do an inspect on that element, we can see that uh, we have a paragraph with an ID of breadcrumbs. So then you can go to appearance, customize, and here you can see additional CSS. Let's actually open a, uh, a new page here in the preview, and you can target that paragraph. And you can say stuff like, I don't know, padding, one rem. And you can see the changes being applied directly in the preview window here. Uh, what else, what other structure is it using? So it has a span, and then inside that span is another span that has the link, the, the divider, and the, uh, the current page. So you can target breadcrumb underscore last, like so, and then you can apply your own styling to this as well. Let's say I want to make this text transform uppercase, right? So now this last bit will be uppercased. This really depends on your theme, uh, the, the uh, HTML structure around it, but once you're happy with the changes, you just hit publish, and now those changes will be applied automatically. Now, one last thing before we wrap it up, the placement of either the short code or that PHP code is very important because in our case, we placed the code in header.php, but header.php is a core file of this theme. So when the theme updates, uh, you're probably going to lose these changes. So what I recommend you do is you create a child theme and then you can uh, apply this code to header.php without having to worry that it's going to be uh, deleted next time you're updating the theme. And as I was saying, this is just one example of how you can add breadcrumbs to your WordPress website. Uh, there are other plugins out there as well. Simply go to the um, plugin repository and search for breadcrumbs and you can install any of these. I'm sure you'll get um, great results with them as well. All right, and that's how you can add breadcrumbs to your WordPress website. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope you found it useful. I'm Andy Pordilla, and until next time, take care.